before that little monster steals off the well, it looks like a repeat of yesterday and the day before the day before is like Groundhog's Day. And yeah, my usual kneeling position at the side of the bed. Um, kind of having trouble with my, uh, I'm not my diaphragm web. I will hurt your hair. It's very, very painful. And it's not just due from um, coughing. I, um, it, it has been getting a bit more uncomfortable as time has been going on, but now it's, it's rather painful. So, I'm now finding that this kneeling position on the side of the bed helps me to brace when I cough and also it's helping when I eat to help keep my hydrohernia not as painful and again it's nearly 5am in the morning so I'm doing my uh, usual spoil myself Gonna try and get back, you know, on track. Um, today, Hubby does have another family event. Um, no, no, I, I won't be going because of the state that I'm in. Um, it's just not safe for me to be around. You know, um, people that. We haven't, I haven't, we haven't seen them for, it must be over a year, two years. So I, I can't stop him from going and seeing his family, and spending time with his family. Whether I'm going to end up in the hospital today or not, I don't know, it's yet to be seen. Um... When we got home yesterday, I, di I didn't record any of it because it was pretty tough. But we'll see what happens today. If I can uh, get him to do so, actually it was pretty cute. I wanted to try and record Annie standing there next to him with a pause on me as if she's doing it too. But we had a good clearance, airway clearance and all mine. Um, it's exhausting. So, um, how things are going to go today is yet to be seen. Um, I'm having to be careful because my, my knees, my legs are starting to swell again. Uh, and that's not just because you... And that's not just due to the medication I'm taking, you know, I've been struggling. I've been fighting with this, with fluid retention for over a year now. And now, of course, you add in the medication that I'm taking to try and keep my, open up my airways. It's not helping. It's not helping matters, it's just not helping, it isn't. So, while well, I'm actually doing this, I'm editing yesterday's little bit of video because there's really not much of a video of yesterday. I'm going to say bon appetit, good morning, and I'm going to have this and then I'm going to eat. No, then I'm not going to eat my tea, I'm going to drink my tea and uh, do my meds and morning routine. See what today brings up. Okay, I'm gonna get me a cup of tea. I'm afraid. I'll be gonna have to feed the cat this morning. That's usual man for her. And this is how I can understand. 
when you see these people that have animals, that they love them and they care for them. And the people actually get sick. They can't care for the animals, they try their best. They end up just opening bags of food and leaving it on the floor. And just pulling the tops off the cans and just popping them. They get to the point where they can't clean up the feces. And then the cats just go anywhere. And then eventually cats and animals start dying on the premises. And you can imagine just how bad that person must start feeling. And it gets to a point where you can't do for your animals. And you feel like there's nobody out there that really cares. Because the only people out there are the people that criticize and pull them down. And not having taken care of the animals. When in truth they did the best they could. For as long as they could. And when they really needed help. People turned the back on them. Until it got to a state where people could point fingers and say you, 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 you. Think twice. Think three times. If you have to, think a fourth time before you start putting someone down like that. Because they really do care about the animal. They just get so very sick themselves. Their thought process is not the same. They feel so alone. They feel abandoned, just, just as abandoned as the animal. And they feel so terrible for not being able to care for the animals. I feel so bad right now. I need a drink. If I don't have a drink, then I'm going to be so dehydrated. It becomes a vicious cycle. I'm very lucky to have my husband. I love the animals as much as I do. And we'll take care of them. And without him, they will get fed much later on in the day. Or I'll be crawling around on my hands and knees doing it, feeding them. The cat's raised. I don't know. Because with my lungs, he can't do the cat trace. My husband has to do the cat trace. It would kill him. I mean, I probably would have to leave home. But there are people out there that can't even bring themselves to do that. Because they can't trust other people. And there lies the problem, is being able to trust in other people to look after your animals as well as you would want them to be looked after. Look after your animals as well as you looked after them in the beginning. Before you started getting sick, before things started going down, before people started pointing things, fingers and judge, and judging. So again, I shall say, if you think that way about somebody, think twice, think three times. If you have to, think fourth and fifth before you open your mouth and start pointing fingers. I had to at least give my own lady cat her dry food and some fresh water. 
I'm doing okay. It will back off a little bit and let me do the work. It is constantly self-adjusting. It will adjust to the speed that I breathe. And if it thinks I'm not breathing fast enough, it will actually initiate grief. I'm stuck with something. Come on, June. You should be also right. This is why I don't. This is why I don't. Dry. to figure out what to do with this hose. It's nice if it moves around, but sometimes it moves around in the wrong place or in the wrong way. to watch your lines and your wheels because you can run over them quite easily which isn't too bad but then when you go to move you're all tangled up and you can't and you go and I'm feeling I'm very very weak thing with the trilogy is it's making even the bad parts of number one work a bit better. I'm trying not to use my shoulders to breathe with. Is that a moment? Don't use your shoulders to breathe with. 
That's easy to do, Freddy. And they use everything possible to take a threat. Because that's how it's done. Not because I'm lazy. It's because that's what I need to do. Hopefully my tea is still warm. Yeah. When it starts leaking, I'll start being hungry. Just because it's slow to it. I just need to get a little bit more. Uh to get a bag to put the um, hang the mask in so it stays free of dust but it's actually free of dust quite big because I use it quite a lot right now oh don't I just look beautiful so cheers time for a cup of coffee I mean a cup of tea <laughs> Maybe next time I'll make a cup of coffee, huh? I haven't even finished my cup of tea yet. So how do I stay stuck there um, to get it to move? When my hubby gets up, we'll do clearway clearance. Well, we'll do some echo. He's doing the best he can. He really needs to be taught how to do it properly. We're kind of doing it on the fly, and it seems to be working, so... It's just unfortunate that with the... Uh, Ceramic dust, it, um, it is, is very, very fine, and each tiny piece of dust has a hook on it. And if that hooks into your the lining of your lungs or anywhere in your lungs, it's there to stay, there's no really getting rid of it. So, of course, you know, your lungs react and produces excess mucus to try and protect that area and try and get get it out and then the hairs break down that normally move all the you know the dust and the dirt and everything else of your lungs and all that breaks down and then this breaks down that and the whole thing just ends up breaking down and that's what's happened with me um, from the top of my lungs down to the back just the bottom little bit that's left that's working okay. So it's um, pretty tough work but we will get there. Uh, I'm going to finish my tea and now I've managed to you know slow that coughing fit. I can still feel I'm wheezing. Um, I can still feel it there. So sometimes, actually, the funny thing is with the trilogy, because it does inspiration and expiration pressure, it does actually help with coughing, especially if I've, you know, braced the mask so the mask doesn't start popping. 
every time I cough out I brace the mask and it does seem to help loosen up things a little bit but right now I don't want to do that by myself uh, to be honest with you if any of you have seen my earlier videos where I really didn't know what I was doing about uploading to YouTube I didn't expect anybody to watch my videos but I honestly do not know and I've said this to my husband I do not know how we got through that day in and day out, month after month, year after year. I just don't know how we managed it. I don't know how we did it. I, I don't know how I did it. Um, so I'm going to finish my now lukewarm tea uh, and uh, probably take a bit of a nap because I, yeah, I, I took the relaxation medication to help slow slow my heart rate down um uh, and now it, it has slowed down a, a tad little bit but it's still pretty uncomfortable and then especially if I start moving you know it really goes boom, boom. um so while that's like that I mean even after just laying down I have to take a few breaths and wait a minute before I move again. Um, it gets to a point where every movement has to be calculated. So, I'll go finish my tea now. me to clear it out. So, 8.16, I'll be, I'll be up soon. So, I'll be doing the, uh, doing another nebulizer treatment and then we'll do full airway clearance. I'll do my best. And he'll smack me on the back and the side and, <laughs> and he'll have a go. And then she, she usually sits by me. Um, she's usually right there. Boy, I'm getting a headache this morning from this. Um, I've been off the trilogy for about an hour now, so... Um... <coughs> I think I'll, uh, as soon as he gets up, I'll have another cup of tea. And then we'll take the day from there. Um... There's going to be bits of, it's going to be choppy, I think. I'll do my best to piece all this together. But, um, somebody suggested that maybe I shouldn't be cutting all this out. Um, maybe I should show a day of, a bit of what it's like. I've just been sat here watching some videos um, on YouTube. I'm actually really enjoying them because they're, you know, uh, people I haven't, um, had chance to watch before, so just enjoying a day out at Universal Studios. Um, that's the thing about doing videos, um, you just never know. Um, the people that you're helping, I've had so many people tell me thank you and how much I've helped them. How, how I've helped them, I, I, I don't know. Um, I do my best with suggestions. I, I do my best, you know, showing how things really, how you know, how you can have a good life, how you can enjoy your life, but, you know, there are those things in between, like, you know, these flare-ups that you have to deal with, and I will be honest with you, with each flare-up, when you get to the end, what they call end stage, like me, when you have each flare-up, you never really get back to how you were just before that flare-up. Um, you never, re you, 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 with each flare-up you, you lose that little bit, but you've got to have sheer grit and determination. Forget the positivity. 
Forget the positive though, you can't be positive all day long. You can't be positive all the time. It's just not humanly possible. But you have grit, you have true grit that's deep inside. You pull that up from your boots, that little bit left that's right in the bottom of your boots. Just pull it up and say, I've got grit, I've got determination, I'm going to do this. And stay stubborn, but stay stubborn in the right way. I've been stubborn in the wrong way too many times in the past. No, I'm fine. No, I'm fine. No, I'm fine. And then the next thing I know, it's a bang 911 call. So, you have to stay stubborn. Stay stubborn in the right way. Find laughter in any way that you can. I mean, even when... When my hubby is doing the, you know, airway clearance, you know, I mean, you've seen him. I showed that one video where he's doing the horse galloping thing. Um, there's times we giggle, you know, while I'm doing it, while it's happening.
I guess she's hungry. Are you hungry? Are you ready to eat now? Hey? Yeah. Well, that one. And we found that um, for me, when I get to coughing like that, I know exactly where it needs to come out from. How um, many does the cup the capping? We call it cupping over in England. I think you could call it pummeling over here. Yeah, there's different meaning names for it, but now what I'll do is I'll give myself a little bit of a rest and then I'll use the, my vest and see if we can't shake the rest of it clear. Um, oh. Sometimes I found though that um, if I lay too flat when he does that and I start the coughing process, it actually starts building up coming out my nose. This is weird. It's, well, that is all kind of connected if you look at the, if you look at the, um, you know, once it gets into your throat and you can't work it out of your mouth, it's going to go working somewhere else and it's usually out of your nose, which isn't quite pleasant. I could tell you that right now. Percussion.
And it's just refusing to break on it. Break on it today. I don't know what happened if I drew teeth on the I have to be careful what I use. I could use a wax, a wax pencil. <laughs> could I have to do that? Yeah. Oh, just big red juicy lips. My little lips are blue. It's not doing much with my top lip. That seems to be shrinking. I think it's because of all this stuff. The press is on my top lip. Top lip! <coughs> <coughs> All finished. I'm exhausted. And oh my god, special delivery. <laughs> Starbucks day and I'm getting a special delivery. Thank you for me. Yeah. You should put it. Well. Away from Annie. Yes, <laughs> another one. You still don't knock it off. <laughs> Anyway. It yeah. weighs like 10 pounds. Yeah. yeah maybe five. It's, it's, it's a heavy vest. 
I say goodbye to my trilogy for a minute so I can eat and drink. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have uh, definitely got a migraine coming on. So after I eat my cake and drink my tea actually my chocolate chip muffin there's another one there, the other one I had at 5 o'clock this morning I can have this one now it's nearly lunch time so um, that is a oh, roughly 6 hour part of my day that been squished down as much as I can into just over a 40 minute video. Um, I've been trying to make it even shorter. I've, I've cut parts out you know with my vest. You don't need to see my vest the whole time. I've sped parts up. Um, like with the percussion, you know, with my husband doing the percussion, that's made up these nice high speed percussion have. Uh, um you know, there's other parts that I slowed down and well that I sped up to or that I just completely cut out, you know, I cut it short. Um like a lot of the coughing fits. So that's basically, you know, I, I uh a roughly six hour part of my day from about, what was it, 5 o'clock in the morning to around lunchtime. Um, now the afternoon did go better. I didn't cough as much. I didn't have as many coughing spells. Um, but that's 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 just part of my day. Um, you know, I, I try to make it as short as possible. There's other things that I do want to say. Uh, I have to, you know, I, I'd like to add, but I'll, I will do that, you know, just as time goes on. Um, I'm sorry, I'm very sleepy, but I, I woke up coughing and I uh, thought I might as well finish this now. Um, so, um, I'm going to go get myself a cup of tea. Let's see if I can stop this coughing here with some hot tea. Uh, uh, I'll probably do myself a breathing treatment to be honest with you. Um, be kind. Be thoughtful. And considerate to those around you and those that you come in contact with, however you come in contact with them. Remember, pain and suffering is pain and suffering. It doesn't matter, you know, what type of pain and suffering it is. When you look somebody in the eye, make sure you can say, I see you. Because one day that person you're looking at just might be you, and you might not like it. When somebody's quick to smile, laugh, make a joke, you know, um, it doesn't mean to say that they're not in pain. Uh, remember, one step at a time, one breath at a time, we, I, can do this. Keep saying that to yourself and we'll get there, I promise you, we'll get there. I'm going to say... Good night, good morning, good afternoon and good evening.
wherever you are in the world.